In this video, I'm going to explain why we need to cite the research of others. Hello, my name is Martin O'Brien, and the purpose of this channel is to help students learn the skills to do great research. And yes, writing is one of those skills. First, what is a citation? It is a quotation from or a reference to a book, paper, or author. This is a typical sentence you can see when reading the literature. At the beginning of the sentence, we can see an author's name and year. This is referred to as the source of the information that follows. It is also known as a citation or an in-text citation or a reference. From now, I'll mostly refer to it as an in-text citation. What follows the in-text citation is the information taken from that source. If you wish, you can also add the in-text citation after the information taken from the source. The sources you can cite in your writing include research papers, books, book chapters, dissertations, websites, etc. Getting back to my original question, why do we need to cite the research of others in our writing? If you have already spent a few years attending college or university, you probably would answer it's what you see when you read the literature. In other words, it appears to be a tradition in academia and research. This is true, but there are also a few other reasons that might not be so obvious to you at this stage in your training. Number one, we cite the research of others to indicate when information comes from another source. For the sentence on the left, no source has been provided. When a reader sees this sentence in the literature, they might think that this information is from the author's own research and it doesn't require the source to be cited. Or the reader may think it is common knowledge and that too doesn't require the source to be cited. Common knowledge can also be referred to as a general truth. And it is well-established, non-debated knowledge that is acceptable to both experts and non-experts. However, the information contained in this sentence was taken from a website. Therefore, the source needed to be cited. That is, Richier et al. 2020. Without the citation, you are confusing the reader about the source of the information. Number two. We cite the research of others to allow the reader to be able to identify, find, and read the source. Here is the same sentence, and I have cited Richie et al. 2020. When you cite any source in your own writing, you need to provide the full details in the reference section of the paper. By providing the full details of the source in the reference section, the reader can identify, find, and read the source and then the reader can verify the accuracy of the information provided for themselves. Number three, we cite the research of others to avoid plagiarism. I took this information from a website. Therefore, this text has been plagiarized because its source has not been cited. Remember, plagiarism is the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. This is prohibited in academia and in research. Now, this text has not been plagiarized because the source has been cited. Number four, we cite the research of others because it allows us to freely use the creative output of other researchers. Here is an example where I use the research of other researchers in my own research. It's perfectly fine to do that as long as you cite the sources you use. Number five, we cite the research of others to acknowledge their work. Here we have the same sentence again. By omitting the source, the authors of this content are not given the recognition they deserve. Number six, we cite the research of others to allow researchers to show where their research fits within the published literature on their topic. For example, we can use the literature to both introduce and demonstrate the purpose of our study. And we can use the literature to compare our research findings to other researchers in the field. Here I'm showing a diagram of how a paper I published in 2006 
is connected to other research published before and after that year. As you can see, it's like a web of knowledge for that specific field of study. You can also use this software to find and explore papers relevant to your own research topic. And number seven, we cite the research of others to allow readers to follow or extend our research. Many researchers will use the sources cited in the literature to pursue their own research interests, for example, by taking their search in a different direction. So I have provided you with seven reasons why we must cite the research of others. I hope that information is useful.